Hey everyone, welcome back to HTech. Today we're tackling a question that's been on a lot of minds lately. Why is Windows 10 getting so slow? Is it just natural aging? Or is Microsoft trying to push us toward upgrading to Windows 11? Let's dive into it and figure out what's really going on. If you've been using Windows 10 for a while, you've probably noticed that it's not running as fast as it used to. From slow boot times to apps taking forever to load, many users have reported significant slowdowns, especially after the latest updates. Of course, it's normal for operating systems to slow down over time. But with Windows 10, the timing of these issues feels a bit suspicious, doesn't it? One of the biggest culprits for this slowdown is Windows 10 updates. While updates are meant to improve security and add features, some recent patches have introduced bugs and performance issues instead of fixing them. Many users feel that these updates are doing more harm than good, especially when it comes to performance. But are these just isolated issues, or is there something bigger happening behind the scenes? Now here's where things get interesting. Some tech experts believe that Microsoft is deliberately letting Windows 10 performance decline to encourage users to upgrade to Windows 11. Microsoft has made it clear that Windows 11 is their priority moving forward, and support for Windows 10 will officially end in 2025. Could the recent updates be part of a bigger plan to nudge users into making the switch to Windows 11? It's certainly a possibility. So what does Windows 11 offer that Windows 10 doesn't? Well, for starters, it's designed to be more efficient and optimized for modern hardware. The UI is sleeker, and features like snap layouts make multitasking a lot easier. Windows 11 is built with performance in mind, and many users have reported that it feels snappier right out of the box. Could this be another reason why Microsoft might want to phase out Windows 10 sooner than expected? So, if you're dealing with a slow Windows 10 machine, should you make the leap to Windows 11? Well, it depends. If your hardware is compatible and you're looking for better performance and newer features, it might be worth the upgrade. However, if you're comfortable with Windows 10 and don't want to deal with potential bugs in a newer OS, you could stick with it for a while longer. Just keep in mind that Windows 10 will stop receiving updates in 2025, so the upgrade is inevitable at some point. So, is Microsoft really forcing us to move on to Windows 11? Well, while they haven't said it outright, the signs are there. With support for Windows 10 ending soon and the noticeable slowdown some users are experiencing, it's clear that Microsoft wants as many people as possible on their new operating system. But hey, what do you think? Have you noticed your Windows 10 machine slowing down? Are you planning to upgrade to Windows 11? Or are you sticking with what you've got for now? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, if you found this video helpful, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any future tech updates. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.